This video is brought to you by Clusterfix. Uh, today we're going to demonstrate the removal of a, an instrument cluster from a 2008 Buick Enclave. It may be similar to the Saturn Outlooks, the Traverses, and maybe the Acadias, but this particular one's a 2008 Enclave. And some of the problems these clusters experience is LED backlighting failure and also the message center can go dim and go out or be intermittent on these. That's something that we repair for. Um, so just a quick demonstration of how to remove the cluster. This one's already got the screws out of it to speed up the video process. But basically you can use a 7 millimeter nut driver or a socket and extension, quarter inch socket and extension. Helps to have a trim panel removal tool. You can pick them up at parts stores. Um, screwdrivers are going to maybe leave a mark, so these are non-marring plastic tools. You can get them at parts stores and tool trucks or come up with a butter knife or anything that will uh, get this plastic off for you. Um, so these are basically the only two tools you're going to need to get this cluster out. So first of all, I am going to pop the trim above the steering wheel off. So that's going to expose a couple of screws. And there's a few different ways to do this one. So we're going to pop just we're just going to pop this knee bolster loose and pop this access cover off. And that's what you use these tools for to kind of loosen that up and get that off. Now this part here, you don't have to take it all the way off, um, but you do need to get it loose. So there's two seven millimeter screws here. That'll get that loose and it's clipped in so you can pull it loose here. The uh, vent will come loose as well. To get the rest, to get it completely off, you need to pop this panel up right back here. And there's a screw down in there. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a screw down in there. You might risk dropping it in the dash, but um, that you can either loosen it just to give, give this more mobility, or you can take it all the way out. I just loosened it. And from there, this, uh, cluster bezel just pops out with clips just carefully use your tool to pop it loose in your hands so you can pop it loose so it just comes right out once you do that and see if this is loose you can just kind of move it out of the way and pull it right up out of the way as you can see there's just all clip retainers, so it just pops into place. And the two screws I mentioned were up here. So there's two uh, seven millimeter screws that you take out. And those two screws are going to hold the cluster in, as well as two seven millimeter screws down here. So four screws total that um, hold the cluster in. And to get the cluster out, you just simply rock it forward and the connectors on the back keep the key off disconnect the battery if you want uh, but at least have the key off there's a, a little retainer there on the top of the cluster the black tab you just push it and pull the, the connector part out once you've depressed that wiggle it out of there and then you got the cluster in your hand um, if you need to send these in for service you can visit us on our website at clusterfix.com or give us a call at 509-366-9009. Thank you.